and there are two bulbs are there I'll connect across them to 20 volt supply. Now, now it's telling which will have more brightness. So I'll connect them in series. So let me next, I'll connect them in parallel. Now this is some very important concept I am trying to generate here. The same bulbs, I'll connect them in series, then I'll connect them in parallel. This you call bulb B1, this B2. Now, which will have more brightness? <coughs> B2. First of all, we will calculate the resistance of bulb. First, we'll calculate the resistance of bulbs. What is the resistance of bulb? So first, we need data. We'll calculate the resistance. So how to calculate the resistance of bulb? We know power rating. So this will be unrate. Power equal to V square by R0. So 220 square by R1. So R1 equal to 20, 22 square. Yeah. Any value, R1? Fifty equal to two twenty whole square by R two. Anybody give value of R one R two? Four eighty four to forty two. Four eighty four to forty two. Okay, these are the resistance of the bulb. Now when I when I connect it, a current I will flow. No? The same current I will pass through both the bulbs. Because they are in series, no? They are series. Nine sixty eight, sir. R2 is nine. Nine sixty eight, sir, R2. R2 nine sixty eight. Nine sixty eight ohm. <coughs> okay, now uh, what what is the power power dissipated in the bulb? We'll check it. P1 equal to I square R1, P2 equal to, no need of calculate, we can directly look at this one. So I'll, I'll divide these two, P1 by P2. The same current, no? The one which is having, so R1 by R2, so definitely shall we put P1 greater than P2? No, sorry, P2 greater than P2. P2. Greater. P2 greater than P1. So here R2 greater than R1. So P2 greater than P1. Which will have more brightness? The one which is having less power rating. I'm getting the idea? This is, uh, no, no, don't bother. Uh, which will have more brightness? What is the brightness? Who will determine brightness? The power dissipated across bulb is directly proportional to brightness. This is a golden rule. Power dissipated brightness of a bulb brightness of a bulb is directly proportional to power dissipated across the bulb i think this is not like a power rating of a bulb am i right i think uh, th this is really troublesome books what happen uh, they, they just <laughs> in some of the book they mention brightness of bulb is related to power across the bulb. The students they get confused. No, power rating is different. Power dissipated is different. It will have power rating. You check it now. Power rating are 100 watt, 50 watt. Then you look at this one. Uh, in across which bulb the power, power dissipated is more across the bulb too. 
So therefore, what will happen here? So the brightness of bulb two will be more. So when you connect two bulbs in series, the one which will have lower power rating will have more brightness. Uh, sir, is it both bulbs safe? Anybody? Can you answer? Yes, definitely no. What all applied voltage will be shared by them? So you have the resistances here. Apply potential divider formula. Check the drop across both the bulbs. It will be less than the maximum voltage rating. So both the bulbs are safe. That also we have to check it. The bulbs should be safe and it should have more brightness. So when the bulbs are connected in series, the one which will have lower <coughs> power rating will have more brightness. I, I'll bring them in parallel. So when I connect them in parallel, current I, it will branch out. This will be I1. This will be I2. Uh, what is the power dissipated across each bulb? So instead of calculating I1, I2 know directly, I'll, I know the potential drop. What is the potential drop? 220 volt only. This applied voltage. So power dissipated P1 equal to E square by R1. P2 equal to E square by R2. Look at here now. So P1 by P2. R2 by R1. Again the same. R1, R2 will be will it be same or different? Anybody? The resistance of bulb will not change now when you connect them in series parallel. The resistance depends on what? It depends upon the material of conductor. The same resistance, sir, you should change R1 out to know the resistance of bulb will remain same. The same bulbs are connected now in parallel. And we know R2 greater than R1. So what will happen P1 greater than P2? When they are connected in parallel, which will have more brightness? The one which is having more power rating. When they are connected in series, the one which is having less power rating will have more brightness. There's a one formula, there's a different here. There's a thing. So here I'm just comparing series parallel. The same bulbs when they're connected in series parallel, which will have more brightness here. So here 50 watt bulb will have more brightness. B2, bulb 2. will have more brightness. So here bulb one will have more brightness. Or they'll ask you which will be <coughs> dim. I think the one which is having Lesser brightness, we are, should call this a dim. No? Bright, the bulb is glowing brightly. It's a dim, they say, D-I-M, dim. Less brightness, we call it as a dim. Okay, let's introduce the 